This time on the Raven's Den. To, and to be there and feel that energy. But I'm also grateful for being here because it gives me a sense of contribution. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives me a sense that the cycle that was before me is no longer alive. And, and I thought that I was actually going to become what my father was. And so many do, you know, so many you know. don't realize that they're simply really or acting out the modeled behavior that they grew up with. Yep. Um, another one, not so much with violence, but as definitely sexual abuse. There is so much guilt and shame around the whole thing that people will be abused as a child and families just don't ever mention it. They, if we don't talk about it, it didn't happen, right? Oh, they were young. They don't remember. I'm here to tell you, they remember. They, they remember. know something happened. Even if it was as a baby or a toddler, there is an energetic thing inside them that they know. And if nobody tells them, they will continue their life searching for an answer. They will have feelings and intuitions and desires that they don't understand. And possibly society says are wrong. And so then they blame themselves. They think there's something wrong with them. And then their every motivation is changed. All of their intent through life is changed. So many people are running from things or chasing something. Um, run, definitely run too, but don't chase. If you're chasing something, that means it's, it's running from you. Um, and don't run from something, go towards something. Uh, it, it really changes the outlook, but the biggest thing is open dialogue. We have to remove the guilt and shame around, uh, molestation and other sexual crimes and even perpetrators like a lot of times the perpetrator is a young child sometimes um, it, when it's an act between two children. Uh, we just need to deal with the whole situation with, hey, something a long time ago happened to somebody and this has just continued on because rather than deal with love, forgiveness, and gratitude, there is all of this anger and shame and guilt and it just perpetuates these family curses. You know, and, and, and to, to add to that, you know, I just was thinking while you were talking about all that. And I'm, I, I'm saying a majority of those individuals, and I uh, say this, and I, and I guess this is all based on perception, but a lot of it is like as the individual grows up, you know, and becomes, you know, a, a young adult. Or in you know from adolescence into you know preteen and preteen into you know the young adult. There's like a paranoia. Um, a lo a lot of times I've talked to many many people, um, and a lot of individuals that have been through that have had trust issues. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I noticed that a lot of those individuals. Um, that have been through these things, um, most of the time it is family. I will say that. At least that's what I've, you know, what I've researched and what I've, you know. Or a friend of the family who's so close they're yeah. considered family. Yeah, the, or friends of the, yeah, like family friends. Um, the crazy part of all this is that uh, I, I don't wish that on anyone. Um, I, I don't, I, I feel that that, that practice, that process, that whole act um, is just bad energy, like all Absolutely. together. But it, it's committed by broken people, not yes. evil yes. people. Yeah. And, and that's the whole reframing we have to undergo. No, I have my own opinions about that, uh, my own feelings on it, uh, which I will not openly discuss. Uh, cause again, you know, this, this is supposed to be a spiritual show. So, you know, I, I won't, I won't bring those up. However, I will say that the spiritual journey after the fact 
becomes much more important for for those types of people because they want they want to find balance they want to find that harmony and serenity in life without resistance and hindrance uh of their own emotions and their own, you know and their own feelings and their desires intimately and you know uh, it's it's difficult to and i'll say this because i too have you know uh, at one point from my memory recall you know have been through that uh, a very similar situation uh, but it's uh, i guess it's a little bit different when it comes to you know when it comes to guys why i don't know maybe that sounds a little sexist and i don't mean it that way but, there are differences between the sexes yeah and and mine was a female it was not a male um and and the thing is is that my take out of all that it's almost like a sense of desperation.